How bad did I 33M screw up by not taking my wife 33F to the airport? A little over a month ago my wife mentioned that she was going on a work trip and asked if I could take her to the airport this Saturday, to which I said no problem I can take you. I completely forgot what weekend per day, time she was leaving, as it had only been mentioned once and I hadn't written it down. About two weeks ago a few buddies said they wanted to book a tea time to golf a nice course we hadn't been to before, to which I accepted because I thought I was free. I know I completely screwed up that I forgot about agreeing to take my wife to the airport. I only realized when I asked her today when she was needing to leave for her trip and she said she needed to be at the airport at 3 on Saturday, smack dab in the middle of when I would be golfing. I apologized that I completely forgot and acknowledged that I totally screwed up. I offered up solutions saying that I can order her an Uber, pay for parking at the airport if she wants to drive her car there, or see if any of our friends are free to arrange them to take her. Mind you, the airport is 15-20 minutes from our house depending on traffic, so not far but unfortunately not doable if I'm in the middle of the golf course. None of that mattered to her, damage was done and she is furious at me that I lied to her when I told her I could driver her there. She now says how is she supposed to trust me when I can't hold up to my promises on things like this and has gone full on rage mode on me. I get that I screwed up by forgetting, but how wrong actually am I to still want to go golfing with buddies over taking her 15 minutes to the airport and missing out on golf? I have taken her to the airport and picked her up dozens of times, always been timely and never missed a beat, in fact I usually show up with ice cream or something like that whenever I pick her up. I just feel like if I needed to go to the airport and she forgot and said her friends were all planning to go to a concert or something I would say no problem things come up go have fun with your friends and I'll just hop an Uber, and I wouldn't think twice or feel lied to or like I can't trust her. Sometimes things come up and plans change and you need to just roll with the punches, and I get for big things this could be an issue but for a 15 minute ride to the airport not so much. Now my wife thinks I'm choosing golfing with my buddies over her and a promise I made to her. Am I that big of an asshole to rather go golfing? Update. I talked over everything with my wife today. I apologized profusely for not prioritizing her and I was completely in the wrong to try and change plans when I had committed to bring her to the airport. She explained that it was more of how I said it and had I said something more along the lines of, I'm so sorry I had forgotten. There is a golf outing that I'd really like to go to and if there is any way I could help arrange plans to get you to the airport would it be okay with you if I do that? If not I completely understand and I'd be happy to take you to the airport like I said I would, would have been a much better approach. She said that she appreciated the apology and was glad that we could talk everything over. She also said that she's been stressed and apologized for a bit of an overreaction though no apology needed on her part. Because we are open with each other I showed her this post telling her I was hoping to gain some help and clarity. She laughed at me and jokingly told me how dumb I am and thought it was funny that I would be upset by internet strangers. She proceeded to giggle over a ton of these comments on how absurd and extreme they are and validated that she does not think that way of me at all and believes me to be an amazing thoughtful husband, made me tear up a bit, and that I just didn't think out this particular scenario but we're gonna get past it. She thinks most of you are complete psychopaths by the way. Update number 2, and last. I would like to thank all you completely insane people here. Even though that I have told my wife I need to take her and make good on my promise she now is refusing to allow me to take her and is overly insistent that I need to go golfing now. She said purely despite all of the internet asshats, I need to go golfing on Saturday. So I just wanted to thank you all for this crazy change in events and hope you all get the therapy you desperately need. We will be enjoying a nice day at the beach tomorrow just the two of us to spend some quality time together, be thankful for each other and happy neither of us are any of you. Thanks. I think personally, she doesn't want you just to drive her to the airport, she wants to have that emotional connection with you before she's gone. She wants the ice cream that you meet her at the gate with. She wants the goodbye kiss. Learn about love languages, hers might be act of service. She is upset because you didn't keep your promise. She feels that your plans with your friends are more important than her. You can always go golfing again any time, or maybe you could just join your friends after dropping your wife. She trusted you. Dude, it's just golf. Take her to the airport and tell your buddies you can no longer make it. Seriously. You said yes to her first. You didn't then make a note of when. And then you said yes to something else. And then when you realized you didn't think that your prior yes should take precedence. And in all of this, you're telling your wife she isn't that important. Not as important as golf with your friends.
That might not be what you're thinking, but that might very well be what she's receiving. Edited because oh the swipos. If you were genuinely sorry you would have cancelled the golfing afternoon with your buddies and taken your wife to the airport. I, F26. Think my husband, M28, is cheating, but denied it when I confronted him. Hi everyone, I'm coming to Reddit because I'm in this predicament and I don't have anyone to talk about it with. I'm sorry if this is a little long, but I think the details are necessary to understand where my suspicion comes from. I'm 26 and my husband is 28. We have been together for 7 years and married for about 3 months. I suspect he's cheating, I've confronted him about it and he denies it. For context, we both manage a family restaurant together, we are not the owners but we help manage it. There's this girl that works with us, let's call her Kelly, and for the past 4-5 months I've noticed my husband and Kelly getting a little too close to my comfort. I'm not the jealous type at all, I've never been, but a woman always knows. Kelly, 20 I think, is a quiet, shy girl. The kind to never start up a conversation herself, but nice and pleasant to talk to once you get a conversation going. My first red flag was in our Christmas party this past December. Everyone was encouraged to bring their families to the Christmas party. In regular, co-worker chatter, I asked Kelly who she was bringing, since she has no family in our city, and she said no one, that she didn't want to bring her boyfriend, which I found odd, but didn't think more of it. The day of the party she ended up showing up with her boyfriend, and everything went on normal. On our way home however, my husband made a comment, out of nowhere about Kelly's boyfriend. He said he didn't like the guy, which I found weird since my husband likes pretty much everyone and usually gets along with everyone he meets. Also, he didn't even have a conversation with him or anything, there was a lot of people at the party and he didn't even say two words to the guy. Second red flag, my husband dislikes PDA, especially at work, which I totally understand and respect. But when he would come into work, he would say hi to everyone and wave, including me, but with Kelly, he would tap her shoulder, poke at her side or mess with her hair. He would also talk to her a lot and they always seemed to be laughing about something. Third red flag, I started noticing that they were spending a lot of time in the office, the door was always open, but they did spend a lot of time in there so much, that other co-workers were starting to notice and whenever they didn't see Kelly they would say, she's probably in the office again. Fourth flag was that they were texting a lot, we have a group chat with co-workers where we communicate about schedules, issues that anyone might have about work etc but they had a text thread between just them two and it seemed they were texting back and forth a lot. My final straw was a couple of weeks ago. I had come back from a two-week trip I had taken to visit family, and it was my first day back at work since. My husband came in, walked past me and stopped next to Kelly, who was next to the coffee machine said hi to her while squeezing her shoulder, and they started talking. Our other co-workers turned to look at me with something like pity in their eyes and that's when I knew. I was heartbroken, but had to pretend to be okay, I was working. I went into the office and asked my husband to come with me and confronted him. He denied the whole thing and said they're just good friends, that he's taken a liking to her but just as friends, that he gives her advice and they talk about work, but there's nothing going on. I started listing all my suspicions and asked to see the text messages between the two but he refused. He said if he showed me, it meant I don't trust him and our relationship couldn't go back to normal after that. He keeps denying it to this day, but I feel it in my gut that there's something going on between the two and I don't know what to do. Where do I go from here? How can I definitely know if he's cheating? Please help. I feel like my life is falling apart before my own eyes, I haven't slept well since and I dread going to work now. You don't need to, definitely know, if he's cheating. He's disrespecting you right and left and is refusing to change the behavior you've already expressed is affecting you. This is enough to take action, whatever that action might be. I would be telling him it's time to move Kelly along. She's behaving completely inappropriately if other staff is noticing it. It will be interesting to see what his reaction to that is. He needs to know he's becoming the office gossip and if he doesn't act horrified, then I'd say there's defo more to it. This is just me, but I'd also ask Kelly straight up. If other staff members are noticing it, then ask her. Sorry op. He's being a shit husband and time to give him a reality check. He proved he is cheating when he wouldn't show his phone messages. It's not like things are normal anyway and for him to give a warning saying things can't go back to normal. Well I suggest you might as well take your chances perhaps seeing the conversation between them. Well, you have so many instances to prove otherwise, it is hard for you to trust him. 
You might as well confront him and get the truth out rather than beating around the bush and doubting him every minute because I know that can feel like hell as each minute passes and it can be extremely draining you mentally. Just for your peace of mind, go for it. He shouldn't hesitate so much if it's nothing. What did he say when you told him there's talk about them around your work? Coupled with his refusal to put your mind at ease by showing you the messages as a big red flag. We can't tell you what to do but inaction will get you nowhere. Find a way to snoop or confront him again saying he's being seuss and enact a boundary with real consequences that you're prepared to act on. I'd probably throw out that I want a trial separation because he's showing he's untrustworthy and if he wants to keep the relationship he needs to take the steps to rebuild trust. My 41M boyfriend has issues with my 5F 8 pounds pup. Very sad 39F. Me. Needs advice. I have a 5 years old small 8 pounds female dog. She is such a good girl, and people stop me to tell me she's the cutest thing they've ever seen. I'm not even just saying that. People tell me all the time. She doesn't chew anything, she doesn't need to be walked, you open the door, she runs out and does her business and runs back in. She doesn't bite or act aggressive, she doesn't bark an abnormal amount. I've never had one complaint about her in five years. She basically just wants to cuddle and love you. I will say that we both have an attachment to each other because I rescued her when I was coming out of an abusive relationship. For the past five years, it's just been her and I let her sleep in my bed because it was comforting to me and she enjoyed it too. She's not dirty I keep her very clean. In January I started dating my boyfriend 41M, who is going through a divorce with three kids. We've known each other for decades. We fell in love and have gotten very serious over the last five months. However, as much as he says he loves my dog, he complains about her every single day. Her anxiety annoys him and everything she does is apparently due to anxiety. He said he's not a dog lover like I am. To him there are humans and then beneath us are animals. We are not one in the same and should not be treated like so. Now he has been very convicted in not wanting her to sleep with us. I did compromise and I crate her at night now, but if she cries, she's still adjusting, he gets annoyed and yells. If she's cuddling with me on the couch, he gets annoyed and won't come over. If she tries cuddling with him at the wrong time he gets annoyed and when she's with me and gets protective, growl or bark again she's 8 pounds and when he gets closer she just gets excited and kicks him real scary. He yells at her and takes it personally. My dog may have some anxiety issues but if she does I gave them to her so I feel guilty, I have anxiety. I also feel guilty because we had this life and because I brought someone else into it who isn't a big dog person, she gets the shaft and I know she doesn't understand. It makes me so sad. His kids love her but they don't know boundaries so they sometimes love on her too much and are in her face and squeezing her and I know she gets annoyed and growls a little bit, as all three of them are in her face. Well, I guess she's not allowed to growl and is supposed to just take everything because he said it's not acceptable. I love my boyfriend a lot. I just feel very protective over my dog because she's never done anything wrong. She's not aggressive. She just wants to give love and it breaks my heart. Sometimes he's good to her but for five months, his frustration and resentment towards her has been a lot especially since I bring an eight pounds dog to the relationship and he brings an almost ex-wife and three young kids and all the drama that comes with that. I don't know what to do and I'm tired of having to defend my dog because at the end of the day, she was here first and I chose to rescue her and give her a good home so if I have to, I'll choose her. I just don't know if I am not being reasonable or if there is something I could do better on my end. Thank you for reading all of this if you made it this far. Choose the dog. She deserves you. This man does not. You came out of an abusive relationship. You landed a jerk that is dictating your relationship with your dog. Honey, did you get any therapy at all for the abuse you suffered? Because if you didn't, you will continue to attract jerks. Break up with the new guy. Get therapy for your trauma. Stay loyal with your doggy. Yeah. He's jealous of the dog or has anger problems. This is not the relationship for you or your dog. If you concede and get rid of the dog, he will be on to the next issue and the next. It won't end. At five months into a relationship, people are either on their best behavior or showing you up front who they are. Believe him. You're being perfectly reasonable. He is not. His anxiety and extreme irritability is his issue but he's pretending the dog, you are causing it. He is not a good partner. I'd suggest you lose him before he escalates. Be firm tell him he is bringing a whole lot more baggage into the relationship than you are. If you are prepared to take on his ex and three kids, he can accept and tolerate your little dog. 
suck it up. Wife, F24, emotionally cheated on me, M27, for five months, she wants me to take her back? Help. I've posted this situation here prior and I actually forgave her but then found out more information. My wife, F24, and I, M27, ran into some challenges about a year ago, been married almost four years, in our marriage. We both became distant but still committed to our marriage and loyal to each other. Or so I thought. She began to communicate with her ex-boyfriend, over social media and texting for some time. I went through her phone and saw she was interacting with him on social media and confronted her since he is a repeat offender in our relationship. She has broken the boundaries with him while her and I were dating. She brushed it off and apologized and blocked him on social media. Four more months go by, and she comes to me crying that she messed up. She had been texting and visiting her ex for five months, which started one month prior to me catching her interacting with him on social media. She told me she visited him three times, and texted almost every day, told him she missed him, and made sexual jokes and flirtatious texts. She began to trickle truth me and slowly over a course of a week I learned more and more about the situation. I chose to forgive her, but after I forgave her I actually found out that she visited him six times and wrote him a meaningful letter at the start of their communication. She says she felt like she wasn't sure if she wanted to be with me and wanted something to fall back on and comfort her. So since her emotional affair she has trickle truthed me, flat out lied to my face, and disrespected our marriage. I also went through her phone a few weeks ago and found evidence she was trying to get a sugar daddy while we were dating and making plans to hook up with random strangers on Craigslist. This was about two months before I proposed. When I found this out I couldn't forgive her anymore for the emotional affair because I began learning new information about all her lies and gaps in her story that she didn't tell me. I'm at the point where I don't know what to do. I love her and I know I'm a good husband. I'm not perfect but I try my best. She is acting sincere but also lying to me. She says all the right things and is going to counseling but I just don't know if that's enough. I came home from a work trip yesterday and she had a special room set up for me with balloons and hearts and a poster and pictures of us, and I saw it and ran out the house. I couldn't handle it given the state of our relationship that I know she is trying to fix. What should I do? LT. Doctor. Wife emotionally cheated for five months. Came to me and confessed but trickle truthed me and flat out lied about some things. Also found out she was not loyal to me before marriage, no physical cheating. She wants to make it work. Should I forgive her? I wouldn't be able to be happy with someone that had lied to me so much. There's someone out there who will put you first and value your relationship more. She is putting effort until you are convinced. She will do the same again the future. Also do you think she didn't fuck her ex? Why? After so many lies? She lied to you. She went to see her ex five times, according to her. You know what cheaters do when they are given opportunity. Stop looking for excuses to stay with your abuser. Better to end things now before kids and lifetime alimony. I read through your post. Sounds you believe you need to break up with her and are coming to us for affirmation. You know the situation better than anyone. If that's your gut feeling, listen to it. You mean bone 6x.